it's tough. It's tough for everybody. And so we're just trying to keep it going, keep working hard every day. Everybody's sore, everybody's tired, everybody's hurt. So everybody just has to push it and we'll see how far we can go. I think there's a lot of things that you should remember about Bernie and that you, you know, should carry on in your whole, in your own life. Just the loyal, uh, loyalty, the honesty he showed on a daily basis, the work ethic, this like, this um, chase of perfection. You know, like no, nobody's perfect, but he tried so hard to be. That's, you know, that's something that's really admirable. Um, I also take away the way he lived in the present. Um, he was a guy that, you know, while I come in and, you know, try to complain about certain things that will happen in the future, he, he was a guy that brought me back to reality and said, like, you know, live in the moment, you know. Just everything, you know, he was like a mentor. He was a teammate, a really close friend. Uh, we would hang out on the field, off the field. Just a really cool guy to be around. He was my math tutor last year and just, you know, like, it's pretty unreal that he's gone. He was the kind, <laughs> he was my best friend. Um, he um, was the most kind-hearted, um, determined, self-motivated, unique person I've ever met. In 10 years of our friendship, we probably said one percent like of the things said are nice things. We got along on a, on, a, on a level that a lot of people thought was disturbing. I remember when we first met Blair West and he just couldn't believe that we're not going to punch each other any second because the way we treated each other. But it was such this, this blind understanding. So I told him like once, you know what, I don't know why, why we're good friends and I really don't understand it. And he's like, yeah, you know what? I have no idea either, but it just worked out on such a, uh, on a good level. And I think what we both shared is that we were really loyal to each other. We supported each other, although we, we didn't do it with like the, the regular patterns people do it. Um, we got along in so many different ways that um, that was one, one thing I really appreciate about him. And that's probably the only reason why I like Bernie. <laughs> Uh, you know, one of the things I have seared into my mind is just him sitting uh, on a stool in an office. And it could have been the office down here at uh, uh, Simon Fraser. It could have been the office at the Schmelz, which was our practice facility in Vienna. And he would just sit there and, and we would talk for whatever it was, an hour or do film or go in the field. And he'd come in the office and he'd just sit there. And I'd be trying to do work and I'm like, so what's up? I mean, he'd be just sitting there and be like, oh, nothing. I got nothing to do. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> and it'd be sort of an awkward, like, okay, are you, are we going to talk, or do you want something, or and he'd just sit there. Uh, I've got two memories. Uh, I remember ripping him for throwing an interception in 2008. What in the world are you thinking? And he looks at me and goes, Coach, sometimes I'm just dumb. But uh, Friday, on, uh, I got to spend a half hour with him in, in a player interview uh, situation. And, um, uh, you know, I think we do business probably a little different than most football programs. And I think our culture is a little different. And um, I, I got to tell him how proud I was of him. I got to tell Bernie I love him. And Bernie wasn't a guy who walked around saying, I love you too, right? But. Um, it was those honest interactions with the quick smile. He had such a massive impact on the way that I view the world and the way that I view people. And he gave me an example of what people can do. And uh, I know it's possible now that you can work hard. I know it's possible that you don't always have to uh, think negatively uh, on something. I know that there are people that uh, strive for excellence and are willing to be uh, uh, supportive, even in tough situations as well as good. He, just how he'd do anything for me, like, uh, he had hurt his shoulder um, in playing football, and on Tuesday, our last afternoon together, he, uh, I had this cough, and I was, cough was, we were just on the, the couch, and I was kind of lying on, on his stomach, like we were just watching TV, and um, I started coughing, and so I didn't want to cough all over him, so um, I just kind of rolled on the floor and coughed down there and kind of got comfortable down there, and uh, 
um, he had said after I'd done it, I was just kind of felt comfortable and um, he said to me, oh, I'll come back here and I was like, nope, I'm, I'm comfy, like you come here and um, he said, no, I'll come back here and I was just like, nope, I'm comfy and I'm like, you come here and he was just like, um, he was like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll come pick you up so you can be with me and I was like, no, like, that's stupid, you're going to hurt your shoulder, like, you're going to hurt it even more and He's like, I don't care, I just want you to be with me. And just like, it didn't matter. Like he just wanted to be with me. He'd make my life happier. Just anything would make it easier for me or make it better. He would, he would do, it didn't matter what. So just, he was very, is very uh, just selfless. He very just didn't matter. Just, he was an exceptional person, and uh, not for any one thing, but for who he was. And it, uh, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, he gave me hope a little bit, you know, a hope of the human spirit and humanity. And uh, that's a lot to put on of a kid from Vienna that's played football in, in Vancouver. But uh, um, for me, that's sort of what uh, I'll cling to as far as his, his legacy in my mind, anyways. You just saw that, you know, he really enjoyed life. And it's something that, that helped me also through this time is when I talked to his mom and his mom talked uh, the week before uh, he died, she said he, w he sounded so happy with, with what he's doing. He was so happy about the direction that his life is um, targeting that, you know, that's something that, that really supports someone in a tragedy like that. He's taught me so much. He's taught me how to trust, how to love, how to live in the moment and if you have something to say, you say it. If you want to do something, you do it and you just, you don't leave anything that you want to do behind. You just live each day like it's your last pretty much.